does it float. Not only can it walk on walk, walk on land, it can also fly. So, you know, that's one of the things we're still looking at. But what they want us to do is they want our input on other uses that we could use for this. As you see, it's, it's really small. Sorry, why? Could you put some C4 in there and then blow it like a, like a mine, like you could walk up to the enemy with it, steam, and then blow it? We probably could, but what they're really looking at is not particularly uses like that because in the, right now in R&D uh, stages, this is about $500,000 piece of equipment. <laughs> so you know, really don't want to go out blowing them up, you know, five hundred thousand dollars a pop. Uh, I know our government's pretty rich, but I don't know if they're so it's kinda of like a miniature version of the uh, UAV just on water and land. Right. Right. And that's kinda of what they're gearing it towards. Okay. Yeah. A UAV, but something smaller, something soldier put in his cargo pocket, you know, pull it out, act like he's tying his boots, slip it in the river, you know, or you know, he throw it. In the river, you know, it all, it's like a cat. It will always land. <laughs> <in one day. laughs>